One of the keys to consistent filtration performance is good service practices. With this in mind, the Donaldson Company has prepared these step-by-step -step servicing guidelines. Here is a brief review of the pictograms that are printed on the side of Donaldson filters. Do not use tools. Clean the filter base. Fill with oil. Lubricate the gasket. Lubricate threads. Hand tighten. Tighten the filter according to the instructions printed on filter. These are global recycle pictograms. When performing a hydraulic oil change, it is best to use a clean cloth and clean oil funnel to avoid introduction of contaminants during the servicing process. The following service steps, which are provided for training purposes, are universal to many hydraulic systems. Donaldson recommends, however, that where possible you follow the filter service instructions supplied by your original equipment manufacturer. As the first step before filter installation, verify that the OEM specified service interval has been reached or that the service indicator shows that filter change is due. Secondly, check the new filter you will be installing for any shipping or handling damage. Do not install a dented filter since the canister has been weakened at that point. Thirdly, be sure the system is turned off and that there is no pressure present. Step 4 is to remove the spin-on filter. Properly dispose of the filter as may be required by local regulations or recycle it. Step 5 is to clean the surfaces of the filter head or cover. Lubricate threads and spin-on seal with clean system oil. As the sixth step, install the spin-on filter, spinning it on until the top of the gasket first contacts the sealing surface. Then for final tightening, follow the guidance of the icons which appear on the filter housing. Do not over-tighten. Finally, step 7 calls for bleeding the hydraulic system and checking for leaks. Let's summarize the service steps presented. Check the service indicator. Inspect the new filter. Turn off system pressure. Remove the used filter and gasket. Clean the filter mounting head. Lubricate the filter gasket. Install new filter per instructions. Bleed hydraulic system and check for leaks. Now for cartridge type filters, follow these change out steps. Step one is to verify that the filter is due for change out, either as indicated by the original equipment manufacturer or specified by the service indicator. As step two, ensure that the hydraulic system is turned off and check that there is no pressure present. Thirdly, unscrew the housing and remove the cartridge. The fourth step is to clean out any sediment from inside of the filter housing. Properly dispose of the cartridge according to local regulations. Step 5 calls for a check of the housing seal integrity. Then lubricate the seal and the threads with clean system oil. In step 6, lubricate the new filter cartridge o-ring with clean system oil and install the filter into the housing. Fit the housing to the filter head as instructions on the housing may indicate. Do not over tighten. As step 7, bleed the hydraulic system and check for leaks. Let's summarize the service steps presented. Check the service indicator. Turn off system pressure. Remove the used filter and gasket. Clean the housing seal area and cap. Install and lubricate O-rings, gaskets, and housing seals. Install new filter per instructions. Bleed hydraulic system and check for leaks. And now steps for replacing in-tank filters. The first step is to confirm that the filter changeout is due as specified by the original equipment manufacturer or as shown by the service indicator. Step two is to turn the system off and check that there is no pressure present. Step three is to remove the cover and remove the filter element as gently as possible. Avoid contaminant dropping into the clean side of the housing. Properly dispose of the cartridge, seal, and spring. 
In step 4, clean out any sediment from the inside of the housing. The fifth step is to clean out any sediment from the cover and lubricate the seal. For step 6, lubricate the filter o-ring with clean system oil and install the filter element. Refit the cover following any instructions given. Finally, bleed the hydraulic system and check for leaks. Let's summarize the service steps presented. Check the service indicator. Turn off system pressure. Remove the housing cover. Remove the used filter and gasket. Clean the housing seal area and cap. Install and lubricate O-rings, gaskets, and housing seals. Install new filter per instructions. Reinstall housing cover. Bleed hydraulic system and check for leaks. As our closing illustration, we want to show you some things that can go wrong with a liquid filter when pressure in the hydraulic circuit goes far above normal. This may happen because of a fault in the system, such as a faulty pressure regulating valve. Note the domed appearance of this filter canister, a sure telltale sign that this filter is under abnormally great pressure. This inverted tap plate in the second photo is the result of the filter reaching burst pressure. This servicing information is provided as a best practices guide. It is not, however, intended to replace or supersede the service instructions supplied by your engine or vehicle manufacturer.